All right, continuing on from the first video, now we're going to get ready to go inside the pack and see what I inside. But on top here, I have a poncho. Poncho easy access. That way I can get to it easy. It starts raining or I need to set up shelter quick. It's right here and I don't have to worry about getting in the bottom of the pack and opening up the shelter system and all that stuff if I need something quick. I also keep my K-Bar. This is a, the short version, short K-Bar. Um, this it stays with this pack all times. Now there again, if I decide to take this pack instead of my LBE system, on my LBE system I have my um, Rat Cutlery RC5. I'll attach that to the Alice pack as well as the K-Bar because I always like to have more than one knife. You never know when you need them. The old saying, two is one, one is none. Um, I'll take a little bit of extra weight, you know, just to have some more tools with me. Stuffed in behind one of these pockets here, just a little plastic little trowel. You can see it's been used a lot uh, for digging, you know, digging out fire pits and whatnot. Let's see, we'll go in the inside here. Nalgene bottle, 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. I don't have any water in these containers right now. Sometimes I leave water in there um, and rotate it out. And other times I don't. I know that you're probably saying, well, in a bug out situation, you're not going to have time to grab water. Well, you're right. So there again, sometimes it's in there. Sometimes it's not. It's just right now I don't have any water in my containers. Uh, let's see here. My water filter. This is an old sweet water. This is the walkabout filter. Um, you know, they don't even make these anymore. As you know, sweet water uh, is not in business anymore. But... Uh, I'll kind of take this out. And it's a little small, small little filter. Does the job. I've had it for years, and it, you know, it still works, you know, really well. Also in there, I keep some uh, iodine tablets as well. That stays in my little water filter kit. Going on in here, there's a uh, complete change of clothes and some hygiene items in a bag right here. I keep all my stuff in a zip in Ziploc bags because you never know when this stuff's going to get wet. And if it gets wet, the last thing you want is your clothes inside your pack to get wet or other stuff to get wet. So I keep everything inside of a Ziploc bag or inside of another bag. Basically inside of here I have some wool socks, a t-shirt, some underwear, um, some other hygiene items like some deodorant. Um, there's a little rag in there. There is uh, some soap, concentrated soap. This is um, lavender, Castile soap. A lot of different uses for that particular soap. Razor blade, toothbrush, and these little toothbrushes here are pretty neat. They already come. Let's see if I can kind of zoom in. These are Colgate Wisp, is what they're called. And they already have toothpaste on them, kind of single use things. Pretty cool to have. And that's in there. There's also in the bottom down here in another bag is a pair of BDUs which are right down here. A pair of BDUs right in there. And over here this is a military five quart collapsible canteen. And this takes up really no room, no weight. It's good to have and it's five quarts. So you get where you're going. I can fill it up. Fill it up from a stream put some water purification tablets in there and boom five quarts of water also works good as a float as a pillow you know basically you know whatever you need it's it's good to have so I keep it in there since it's becoming winter time also I'll put in here I usually have some thermals in here I don't have them in here now because I took them out for the summer but I'm getting ready to put them back in here for the winter have some um, polypropylene you know, thermal underwear and stuff that I'll keep in here and going in a little flap inside the pack Basically in here, I have the uh, military survival manual, uh, pen, paper, a uh, little pad. That's the, uh, the old 1970 version of the military survival manual. You know, it's good to read. I've read it several times and I'm pretty good with survival, but it's always good to have something to read while you're out there if you have to go somewhere. And... All right, what else we got in here? Some MRE heaters for the MREs, along with some aluminum foil. That's probably six feet of heavy-duty aluminum foil there, all wrapped up with MRE heaters. 
another little this is great too this is a little um, it's actually from my bigger pack uh, my low alpine pack this is a um, like a camelback system bladder system it holds um, this is a three liter I think all wrapped up here it just stays in here some utility gloves probably 200 feet of paracord and my Pathfinder fishing kit. Any of you watch Dave Canterbury's videos, this is my Pathfinder fishing kit that I made. So y'all can check his videos out on you know how to do that. It's like, that thing works pretty well, by the way. I was shocked, actually. But some more light sticks. There's a couple of little light sticks in here. That's pretty much it for the inside compartment here. Now on the top flap of the Alice pack, there's a compartment. Let's see if I can get this one hand here. And inside the top flap, my bandana, or one bandana, I have several of those. Some toilet paper. Never leave home without TP, guys. I said that in a previous video. I gotta have my toilet paper. Open back up here. Sorry about the camera jumping around. Um, this is another little mini first aid kit that I kind of put together. Just some bandage, basically some band aids and some mole skin. Some more aluminum foil. Aluminum foil has many uses, as you all know. And a little LED flashlight, a little cheap one. Works pretty well. And that's pretty much it <coughs> um, for my bug out bag, 72 hour bag, however you want to call it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the contents. This pack weighs as it stands now. Uh, 32 pounds. Um, I'm not going to go over firearms and all that mess because that's a whole nother, another saga and you know I'm just not going to go into all that. Um, but right now like I said 32 pounds is how it's set up which is not that bad. It's actually come down a lot in weight over the years. It used to be real heavy. <clears throat> I mean I, I'm sure there's some things that I'm missing out on and some things that I haven't mentioned but Right now, I just I can't think of any, and that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or anything, um, feel free to uh, send me some comments or emails and uh, suggestions, and let me know. Um, like I said I think everything, I think I got pretty much everything covered um, in here. Um, also, oh, there is one thing that I'm missing in, and I should be right in here. There it is, my folding saw. This is uh, an off-brand Gerber type folding saw. I've had it for years. It works pretty good. That's one of the things I forgot to mention. And there's yeah, some just MRD stuff. But anyway, that's it. So like I said, if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know. And I'll you know, respond back to you. Uh, catch you later on another video. Appreciate it. Thanks.